Yay, we're live. Are we alive? I mean, I'm alive. Are you really alive? Because I could swear uh, you just drowned in fucking root beer. I can swear I did. I'm not letting you live that down for a really long time. That was... You nearly killed me with laughter, so, yeah. I didn't drown. You didn't? Are you sure? Bro, 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 bro. AJ kneeled over laughing, apparently, after reading your Tumblr post and, see it, and like, seeing my video. So that I sent to the chat. Bro wasn't even there and he was dying laughing. Come on. Yeah, no. Uh, no, like, one of my friends thought that she needed to call, like, the reason that Tumblr Post exists is one of my friends was like, do I need to call the cops? Did Barb attempt suicide? <laughs> and I'm like, no, overreacting. Gal is overreacting, but she is not going to calm down unless I give it to, like, all the details. <laughs> Which I can't, because even that much was making me die again. Just fun. I don't think you appreciate how just you're not living that down like probably ever you're probably going to be like 50 with grandkids and I'll be like the wrinkled old lady and I'm just going to be like I remember the creamy white foam you know, I'm probably, I'm probably just gonna drink root beer like that for the rest of my life, and it's not that crazy. You're just overreacting. Me when I spread, me when I lie, me lying through my teeth. It's not that crazy, he says. It's not that crazy, he says. It really isn't. I asked side, and he didn't, and he just went silent. You asked side word. Break seven dot man, you asked the man, the le with the legend, that fucker out of anyone, you asked that guy. Only guy who was online. Well, I asked many guys. Most of them were girls, actually, because a lot of the people in the arts and server are girls. Uh, but listen here, boy, listen here, listen here. Do you want to recognize you? You guys were apparently in the same computer class in sixth oh, grade. God. Yeah, she, she was like, holy, she was like, she, she saw the video and went, holy shit, what's your brother's name? I was like, I told her, told her your name. He's like, oh my God, I was in a computer class. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats, Gianna recognized. Yeah. Not gonna lie, this is the better way to drink it. You are wrong. You are incorrect, fully. You, you fucking save the video that I just that I sent yes. I deleted it before I even get to I deleted it? broadcast what it. Are you? What are you, my friends, when we're being homo? Who in talking about people that don't fucking exist? What are you yesterday when when Jess reminded people that we we're able to delete other people's messages in the Arson server and AJ and I were just deleting each other's messages while we talked. We were fighting. It's so fun. Yeah. Where for those you? for those of you watching stream who were not in my apartment an hour or ago when this went down, uh Johannes Aglin's player is the only straight person in this family uh and somehow managed to be the gayest one here with a bottle of a and w root beer bro i could never my i could never i don't care how homo i am i could never it was literally white it was like I couldn't have recorded it because I'm pretty sure it would have been, like, illegal to record you doing what you're insisting is normal. Oh, I, rec I recorded it. 
Oh no, cops are going to be at our door. Oh no, oh no. I recorded him demonstrating, he like start. he was demonstrating that shit. I was like, well, this I know, is like so it's not even as funny as it was the first time when we're just sitting here laughing at how Lee, since my translation, Lee has called me a slur in Chinese, and then Han's just like, slur, 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 oblivious. <laughs> and right when we tell him no, straight boy, don't say that. Freaking. He wanted his pass. <laughs> wanted his g pass. <laughs> <laughs> we can swear we can we we can yeah hey bye for next hi cassie we haven't even started yet because i'm still dying over that shit so oh, god he wanted he just wanted his pass just wanted his pass wanted his wanted to earn the right to say a slur he wanted his pass uh uh, that whole story. Oh, what the fucking peach things are? Han Rex, question for you: Are you watching stream? Uh, no. Okay. I put this. Str I just. I just tend to just get the link so I can shove it. Give it to my friends. Yeah. The reason I'm asking is I'm debating whether to put up like the actual window. Um, I'm back on. I'm back on stream. Uh, I don't want to do it if you're watching because I have GM view. But if you're not watching, yeah, I'm off. yeah if you're not watching, yeah, I'll just I'll just stop watching. You can just have chat open or something to mess with people. That's fine. I forgot I gave you mod powers, Rex. <laughs> Uh, as usual, rules in my channel are mods can do whatever the hell they want, and if they piss me off, I beat them with my cane. Oh. Yeah. Not Asian, you're not, not, you're not Asian. Asian. You're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to do that. No. no. To me, I don't yeah. They don't beat people with canes. How could you? Yes, totally. I have never beaten anyone with a cane. Never. <laughs> Exiting stream. <laughs> There's weird music. I thought I turned that off. I had an ad. Oh, okay. You just got an ad. Hi, Cassie. Well, you know what? Do I have? I already have, I already have this open here, don't I? Somewhere? Yeah. Why aren't you letting me look at the look at the fucking Twitch? Stop making the chat disappear, I swear to God. Soon go away. I swear to God. Uh just You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm going to be all professional and change my layout entirely live. Because I want Rex's cool art to be visible. So if I do this. And then I hide those names. Then I can make that a little bigger. And now we can see the newest dice roll and the cool little image. Heck yeah. How's that look?
I have no idea what's going on now. I think we finally calmed down after 15 minutes live. I've been calm. You were calm during the event. You don't count. It's not crazy. Um, currently being you louder. were deep throating an A and W bottle. Don't, wait, don't, don't say, say it again. again. Don't, don't remind us. us. It's a fly. <laughs> okay, and it's scary. I wasn't deep throating an A and W. You were. You were. You were you it didn't go down my throat. You're Tassie, stop me. agreeing with Han that it's fine. It's, not it's completely fine. I mean, A and W is good, but like, no, that's a. It's not. I mean, like, you get all the fizz. You don't get any like explosion. You can shake it up all you want. Why is it Don't do that. The only thing is that there's a that the flies now seem to there's a fly and it scares me. The flies so much. It's just a normal size fly. Leave the bitch alone. It's just lost. I wish it got atomized. I wish you got atomized. I wish it just left. Ugh. I wish you would. There's two of them. Okay. They're big. Yeah, they're giant. Leave them alone. They're strong. They're not. They're, they're, They're bigger than me. <laughs> this is my life, by the way. I am watching this guy try and, like, <laughs> scaredly try and swat at flies with his fucking blanket. Rex, can you just kill the fly for us so we can get going? I think he's in midair right, mid -air right, right now. Right tonight. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Han, <laughs> oh, do you need a hug? How is how is Cindy? What if I were to cheer clear chest? There's two of them. And? and? They're fast. They're fast. They're, They're big. Are they faster than Sonic? Yes. yes. No, no, no. Okay, one of you should go to push to talk because, like, you echo through each other, especially I when Han is freaking this, out. In this year. Um, you there we are. Oh, are we ready? Everyone's muted. Yeah, everyone's muted. I turned on that noise suppression thing. I wonder if it does anything. It helps a lot. Rex is muted still. Penis. Where is oh. Peanut? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I just hear what I thought? This is I heard the We're supposed I, I, I... This is supposed to be just some nice wholesome yeah, repression yeah. of innocent countryside peoples and you have to come out here and say what's penis? Hey, they said they heard them no, say let it. Let me go back. Let me go back into. Let me go into discussion on the answer survey. All right. That's how this is going to go. Gianna said that you were quite, quite being due to the fact that you can that you are this. You're not even desensitized. You don't even know what the fuck you're doing. You're literally that pure. I know. And it's not good. That's part of why it's so funny. You just stop, actually. Really. Like if Han was doing it on purpose, it wouldn't be have been nearly as funny as just the slew of innuendos that came out of his mouth as he was trying to convince us that everything was fine and normal. <laughs> so funny, so fucking funny. Uh, so like when you say it, it becomes funny. When you say it, it's funny. 
It's, it's funny, funny when you say it. It's funny funny yeah, you just don't know I... what you're saying. And I, I think I figured out. I think I figured out what's happening. You think sentences with nouns, and then you just say like it instead of the noun. Like you're thinking the noun in your head, and then it, the word it, comes out of your mouth instead of whatever noun you're thinking. And that just makes everything like things that should be clear sound like innuendos, and you don't yeah. even notice. Yeah, it, you, you replace pronouns with like it or they too all the time. Like it's just a like, different pronoun that's gender it's just neutral and you're looking if you expect that not to sound funny that is not to sound weird not to sound funny i i never it's like up. you're trying to avoid saying it it's like you're trying to avoid it and you're not when you're trying, trying, to, trying avoid to avoid it you just, it. You do, just it anyway. do it anyway <laughs> i'm just, just trying to get i'm just trying to get the curtain out of it you know, I actually thought about what I was saying, right? Gonna say there for a second. And I was about to just say egg because I was thinking about the egg we ate. What? I was thinking about the egg thing we ate for like brunch. And then you realized that we would like devour you if you just said egg. Yeah. I, um... I beg your pardon? What con? What do you mean by that? So basically. I obviously have the most straightforward, I'm always thinking, focused on one thing. So that's why while you were talking, I was thinking about food. Huh? While you were talking, I was going back in memory lane and thinking about what we had for it to eat. And then thinking a bit further back into the first time I into an egg and, and, and watching someone make an egg. But like... Six years ago, no, seven, maybe eight, and uh, thinking how it looked pretty similar. Wow, you think that making an egg looks similar to making an egg? I'm yeah. sorry, but I'm being mean. It's also the same person. It was also how the same person. How does that have anything to do with Hello Fly? If it's how me it seven or eight years ago, it would not be the same person. How? How did fucking? How does it? How how does this correlate like you doing do such things to a bottle to a bottle of root beer? Because we because we did I did it right after we ate. It was like part of the meal. I I think we need to just <laughs> stop trying to comprehend <laughs> how Han's it mind part, works. It was, it was part of the meal, he said. Speaking it of part, it was part of the meal. <laughs> Speaking of part of the meal, the gate is open. That's not part of the meal. I'm all, I'm all, That's I'm over here the at the meal. Long Acre docks. <laughs> okay. Can I go, yo? What the heck? Can I go do the thing Amerigo was gonna do? Since you told me off stream what Amerigo was going to do, do you want to tell us what Amerigo was going to do? Here, yeah. so that we can like. Yes, keep Amerigo. Amerigo, go. Amerigo, go to gate. Amerigo, go look and look at. Go find the people who are supposed to look after the gate and possibly be scary. But I don't know. It depends. Sure. So it's well, it's not as early in the morning as it was when everything started because you dawdled for ages. So when you come down towards Bowen Dent's house, which is, you know, as a little reminder, Castlegate here, Bowen Dent live right there. Um, you can see that Dent is outside, kind of mindlessly, not really paying attention, old man like, swift sweeping the front, whistling a tune, enjoying the morning air. No, the heat is coming. It is summer still. And as you start coming by, he stops whistling and narrows his eyes and just stares at you. What do you do? Prolonged eye contact. The romantic tension is palpable. 
No. <laughs> So he's just, after a few minutes of prolonged eye contact, he's going to go, Can I help you, officer? Why is the... Oh, I can't speak. Why is the... So good at talking. Why is the gate open? There we go. He looks over, and for the first time he notices the gate's open, and he goes... I couldn't write tell you, officer. Did you not notice? I just woke up. You took away Why my life's calling. Up? I get to sleep as late as I want now. Still your job to look after. My job? Boy, I've job. been retired for 20 years. I don't have a job. I took Fair care night. of the gate uh -huh. out of the goodness of my heart. Oh, sounds like, well, I don't have goodness in my heart, so... Hmm? Hi, you... Where is the other one? Bo? Oh. My wife, she's inside making ourselves a nice, lovely lunch. Then were you both not paying attention? Well, the gate's closed by orders of the Archbaron. Yeah, and it's open now. Hmm. Well, maybe it's the ghost of the gate, pissed off because he don't have no visitors no more. There ain't no ghost of the gate. Ghosts are stupid. <laughs> Whatever you want to believe, young man. Okay. All right. You can make a sense motive check if you'd like. But because this guy is sus as fuck. I don't be suspicious. So yeah, and I'll be definitely making fun of you. Erica. Like, yeah. outright mocking you. But now, uh, in which can I shoot him? You want to shoot him? I'm not going to shoot the kid, but I'm going to shoot him. Can I shoot him? Sure. Can I? Okay. Wait, can I, can I use one of my silly little skills that I make sh that I don't miss when I shot? Um, like, he's not really struggling if you want to just, like, take a moment, whip out the gun. Okay, and cool. Shoot I'm him. Shoot yeah. Um, yeah. There's no dice rolls or anything. Um,. It's right, about 10 him. in the morning, and you take out your gun, you load in the bullet, because it is a bit of a thing to get your firearm loaded, and as you're doing that, he just looks up at you just in time for you to point the gun, and blam. And the old man and where, where? falls dead in front of his open door, and you can see his oh. wife through the door, holding a nice, like, freshly baked sort of, like, breakfast pastry pie thing, looking absolutely horrified with her husband's blood. Oh. Yeah. What well, do I you do? I didn't shoot him dead, but okay. Oh, how did you want to shoot him? I mean, it's, I don't care. I just was, wasn't was planning on shooting him dead, but it's fine. Oh, no, then it's we funny. can rewind, because we didn't do any dice rolls or anything. Like, if oh, okay. you wanted to shoot him somewhere particular. 
I honestly shooting. I'm fine with shooting with dead. Okay. Then yeah, uh, murdered a beloved member of the community in cold blood. It's not the wow. first. That's actually the third time I've done that. Yeah. There's a reason the rebellion tracker is so damned high. It's my fault. I'm the problem. It's me. It's me. It's America. It's my our problem. I'm the winner. This is one of the few campaigns where this behavior does not derail things all the way. It, yeah, it just... Why? Yeah, normally this derails things. Normally yeah. I'm not... My character isn't the one to just be like, all right, you're dead now. Fuck you. Yeah, but yeah, so uh, Bo, Dent's wife, uh, is holding, like, a nice peach a nice peach cobbler standing horrified in the door of their place and you are holding a smoking gun in broad daylight what do you do um god damn it i don't want to say this Okay, can I can I walk can I walk up can I walk up to her, take the peach cobbler, because fuck yeah. Um and say he was mocking me, just plain and simple. Just he was mocking me. Um, sure. You don't have oven mitts, so it is going to deal you a point of fire damage to just grab the, the hot cares? pin. Okay. Who the fuck cares? So taking that shit. It's mine now. You are now holding in your hand a burning hot metal tin with a peach cobbler. Yum. And you say that, and she is now. just looking at you in horror. Alright, now let's just casually walk away. Cause we cause now I have now that I have now I have a peach cobbler. Also, um also we still got to check that shit. Yeah, the gate is still open. Gate is still open. Let's uh let's go over to Aglin for a moment. Sitting by the river, by the docks. Getting more and more hungry. Getting more and more hungry. <laughs> and no, just, the wait. way the way that the geography is and the way that guns, especially like Renaissance era muskets are really loud. You hear a gunshot echoing in the distance. Aglin. I guess I'll I I mean considering I think the Amerigo's the only person with a gun. I might head over okay. in the direction of it. It's gonna take you about That's an hour to walk back to town. But yeah. <laughs> okay. So you're are you or are you just gonna walk or are you gonna like run? Um, how fast are you um, trying to get back to town? I, I um, actually, I have the skill for this that I never use. You know the 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 thing that that the um trading thing actually makes me walk faster, but it also gives me this skill that I never use. And so my domain is a movement one. I'm pretty oh. sure. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, I have this move. I remember seeing it once though. <laughs> That makes me just move faster. I'm just trying to find it. You think it's your um, domain? Nah, it's not my... I, I remember seeing something somewhere that... Oh, no, I don't have it. I don't have the thing equipped. It's a spell. Uh, that I got. Okay, it's a spell you didn't have prepared. So yeah. are you going to walk? Are you going to hustle? Or are you going to run? Uh, I don't know. How fast can I get the there if I run? An, it's going to be the difference between an hour, a half hour, or possibly 15 minutes. But you will uh, have a fortitude I'll run. save. I'll run. Okay, give me a fortitude save. Time for my death. You're not going to die from running. No, you're going to, you're going to, you can haul ass back to town. It'll take you 15 minutes 
to get there, but yeah, you're hauling ass as fast as you can to where the gunshot came from. Amerigo, what do you want to do with your uh, ill-gotten gains? I want to eat the peach cobbler. Oh. So are you, like, are you just like walking down the road eating a peach cobbler with your hands? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can see out of the corner of your eyes, like, a couple of the town guards heading off to the north, like, you know, town guards tend not to like when people shoot civilians and steal their pies in broad daylight. Oh? Okay. But they also can't do anything to you right now, so... Do I care? Yeah, no, do I care? Do I care? I have protection for my assholes. Woohoo. Woohoo. Um, but yeah, so you're just gonna, like, hang out, where are you, are you gonna, like, hang out by the jail? Yeah. Okay. You know, peach cobbler. So just hang out in front of the jail, eating peach cobbler with your hands. That I did, in fact, steal, but we don't really worry about that. You could say, steal, you like, could say you too. confiscated it. I confiscated it as, yep. Uh, as a fine for ins it. as a fine for insubordination. Yeah. I mean, the guy wasn't gonna eat it. He's dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, Aglin, you arrive at the jail to find Amerigo sitting there, like empty pie tin by him, hands and mouth covered in peach go peach cobbler. What do you do? I'm just gonna... I heard a gunshot, so I came right back. What happened? I was confiscating something. Ah, uh, cool. Do you know Do you know a good place to get food? I haven't eaten all day, and I just decided to walk in a random direction. Well, yeah, if you shoot that Zeebo's husband dead, and then to have her so shocked that she freezes after making a peach cobbler and, and take it from her, then you have free food. Uh, that sounds great. I'm, okay. I mean, the grocery store is right across the street from the jail. The chemi the I'm going to go to the market. grocery store. You go to the market. Where the, 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 the guy at the market just looks up and goes, um, my, my lord, um, what, what what may I do for you? Uh, what do you sell? What do they sell here? Um, I'm, I'm just fresh what, produce, kind of... fresh produce, meat, bread. I guess it's a it's a grocery store. Do they have bags? Not really, because it's like old time. Yeah. Can I grab some fresh produce and? And then go to, and then go purchase it. How I don't know how much it would cost. Like, uh, specifically, like uh, the first four items I see. Sure. Of produce. Um. Let me just grab the first few pieces of produce that you see. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. It's gonna cost you, let's say, um, five silver pieces. Okay, uh, I'll pay that. Uh, it's that's that's uh, I'll just give them a gold piece, right? And then how much would I get in change? They'll count you out five silver pieces in change. Hey, well, the, the man is very quiet the whole time. You may make a perception check if you'd like, Adlin. Oh, epic. A perception check. I can... Uh... Like... So the man here and his wife are both very focused on you. 
But you can see that as they're doing so, their daughter, who's maybe 11 or 12, shuffles off, like, quietly, not very sneakily, to the side and bolts out the front of the market. Hearing to me, that looks like someone just tried, stole from the market and is running from government officials. I'm going to chase after them. Okay. Um... You see this little girl running, and you are running after her, and the uh, owner of the market is shouting, what's wrong? What's wrong? I'm sorry, you really just went, because to me, it looks like, insert thing you just made the fuck up. There was zero signs. You that's just, what you Aglin, just made that shit up. That's Aglin this entire game, though. <laughs> Can I apprehend Aglin them? Is, um, Aglin is... Go ahead and give me a fortitude roll. <laughs> I never... Oh my god. Aglin it's is manslaughter. Man Amerigo is manslaughter. <laughs> yeah, so you chase her, and as... You start closing in, she looks back and goes, oh shit, and just books it, diving over bushes and between buildings, and you get halfway through town before just the fact that you've been running for like 30 minutes on an empty stomach catches up to you, (laughs) and you stumble to the ground. Please be fatigued for the time being. I'm fatigued. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, I just realized this is the first time you've ever been fatigued. So let me uh, let me get you. Yeah, I don't normally I don't normally run on an empty stomach for an entire day. So a fatigued character can neither run nor charge, and takes a minus two penalty to strength and dexterity. After eight hours of complete rest, fatigued characters are no longer fatigued. Ooh, I'm gonna. Do I still have my food on me? Yeah, sure. Well, if I still have my food on me, then uh, I'm gonna go and eat it. I don't know why I picked up. Where are you gonna go eat? Oh uh, well, I'm gonna go back into the middle the to the lake and long anchor docks. You're gonna walk, walk back it. to the docks again. Yeah, and while eating, though. Okay, well, as your way back, you can see, number one, the castle gate is still open. Oh, okay, that, that's open? The castle gate is open. It um, wasn't open, right? And people are, people are, like, gathering up the former gatekeeper's body and dragging it to the Church of Iomade. It wasn't, it wasn't open before this, right? Um, you had it closed as of yesterday. This is the first time today that you've gone by the castle gate. Well, then, I'm going to go and, well, considering the gatekeeper got shot, I'm going to go and, I mean, not shot. It looks like he's just dead to me, right? Well, I mean, yeah, oh. he's just dead. You don't know that, you don't know that Amerigo shot him. You, so just know that walk- he, you just know that Amerigo said that he shot the dude and took his wife's cobbler and... There's a dead dude and an upset wife. You know, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to ask why the gate's open and why did someone and I'm going to ask if someone shot the gate gate dude and then opened it or, or not shot like killed the gate dude and opened the gate. Bo is going to look at you and going to say that psychopath of a partner murdered my husband. For answering his questions. <laughs> it's the ghost of the gate. The ghost of the gate uh. is clearly pissed off that no one's coming to visit anymore. Why do you kill us because of what the ghost of the gate does? What's the ghost of the gate? Is it like a myth? The ghost of the gate. It coos and it's happy when people come by. 
fools. You absolute buffoons. The fires of Iomade will burn over this town, and I will be so happy to watch you hang. I don't care if it's treason to say that. Death to House Thrun. What do you do? That's pretty treasonous, right? Yeah. Um. Um. I mean, they're. I mean, I don't think Aglan's an evil person, and they did d just let, lose a husband, so I'm just gonna assume they're not in the right mind. Okay. And so, and then I'm going to try closing the gate after eating. Okay, so you're gonna finish eating, go down. Alrighty then, go to close the gate. Uh, I don't think I'm going to succeed uh, if I do have to roll. Well, go ahead and give me your strength check. If you're going to try and close it from the outside. Three. Right, right. it's a three. You hoy and hoy and like yeah you that's a four because it's a minus two to strength not a minus two to strength rolls but yeah you you are just panting and tired you cannot close that gate manually you can see the ropes that go into the gate tower from the gate like there's definitely a way to close the gate from the gate tower you presume oh well then I'll go try doing that okay so you go ahead. And let me double check. I don't think it's closed that way, but yep, yeah, okay. Um, the oh, so you go to open the door at the gatehouse. And it's not locked. The doorknob turns. But when you go to push it, there's something on the other side keeping it from opening. That was weird. Uh, detect, cast Detect Magic? Sure. You currently detect no magic. Can I continue? To detect magic? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you look around and there are no magical sources besides what you have brought with you in the range of the spell. Uh, okay. Well, then. no, 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 that's not true. There is one. If you kind of look around and look up, like, towards the top of the tower. I have to look up what type of magic this is, because I never know what all these things magics are. You see a moderate conjuration at the top of the tower. What? Oh, what conjuration? Like, healing and all that nonsense? Healing, ma healing, summoning... Can I go to the top of the tower? Uh, how are you going to get to the top of the tower? Uh. Uh. Because as far as I'm aware, your wings are still entirely aesthetic. Might be able to climb it. Uh, oh, wait, no, I have that birdie thing. What birdie thing? The bird thingy. The metal this thing. This little bird coming over your thingy. Hey, so you're going to send your little birdie up to the top of the tower. 
Yeah. Okay. Um. So you go on up to the top of the tower. Do you have any ability to share vision with your little birdie? Or do you have to wait for it to come back and tell you? Oh, uh, let me go check. I, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't... This is the first it's... time... I think this is the first time that I've ever had a player actually use a familiar. Uh, I don't... I don't... We don't... I don't even have, like, the familiar, like, as a... Uh... Well, let me... Let me look up familiars at the same time. I also did... And do the Maya. We don't need the stats for your familiar. Yeah, I'm just looking. I can't even speak with you yet. So I mean, I did do do the celestial things. So I was checking that for that. that yeah, that's knowledge. going. That's not going to affect um, this particular thing. It'll affect if we ever need to stat out your familiar. It's going to affect your familiar's stats and make it stronger. Yeah. But um, no, your little clockwork bird it flies up there. You can feel that the bird thinks that everything is fine. That there's nothing out of place. Um, yeah. The bird feels like everything's at the, 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 there's nothing up there that your little celestial clockwork birdie can feel is out of place. Okay, then I'll just go try, then I'll try to force this door open. Just with your strength? Yeah, yeah, because I don't have any spells prepared for this. Give me your strength check. You know what? You hoy up your. You hoy your tower. How do you want to do this? You tell me. You succeed. Uh, uh, I want to repeat it. Rep Repeatedly, um, whack it with my spear. Okay, so you just compete, Back. compete. You keep whacking it with your spear until you finally get your spear in there, and then lever the thing open, and it just creaks open, and you now have access to the inside of the tower. Amerigo, do you want to have followed Aglin? Smiley face. Is that a yes or a no? Yes. yes. Okay. Lovely. Come on. So. Can you see the lovely map I've made? Has it loaded for you? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Just the best. So, Aglin, you can see the inside of this. There's barrels, there's crates, there's a ladder. And over here, there's like a big wheel in the wall that you could turn that has a rope coming out of it. I'll turn that. Okay. And as you go through and turn it, the ropes snap. And you see them swoop up into the wall. And the wheel just turns with no resistance. A little bit of rope on the wheel, thwapping around. Did the gate close when I did that? Uh, you can go outside and look if you want. A ago, the gate did not close.
yeah, the gate's wide open. Uh, can I go and... Uh... The gate's wide open, and the turning wheel is there, and the rope is just not connected anymore. It has snapped. Can I... I um... Can I try forcefully closing the door gate again? Uh, sure, you can go out there and try to force the gate closed again. Do I need to roll again? Yep. Uh, you you go and you he and you ho and you are just panting like you're already exhausted and wanting to lay down. And now you've had to try to fight with this massive gate for like half an hour. Leave her open the door. And on your way out, you can see Amerigo just standing there. Watching. Wait, I was just a question. How many miles about is it from port town to port area to the town? Like three or four. Oh, God. Yeah. No, you are tired. Like, fatigued means you are tired. You're not exhausted. That's a different thing. But you're tired. You're ready to lay down. Damn gates open. You can see the pulleys on the outside where the, uh, not the pulleys, but you can see the little slot in the wall where the rope comes through to go to the pulleys inside. You can see the rope, like, dangling there, caught on the edge. It's end frayed. What do you do? And Amerigo, do you do anything? Oh, honestly, no, no not really. No. Don't. He's just waiting for something really interesting to happen. Okay. Is there any candles nearby? Um, you can look through the barrels and crates if you want to. Yeah, I'll look through the barrels and crates for candles. Sure, you know what? You can find in there a crate. You can find a couple of candles and a little candlestick. And even a flint and steel. Is there a a bo is there any bags? Not really, no. Okay. Um so for the, so it says tiny bag on the spell, but like I have a I do I do have a like a pouch for spell components. Does it have does it have a price? If it doesn't um, have a price in the material, as long as you have your pouch where suit will assume that you have what you need for your spells. It doesn't say a uh, price. Then you have it in your little spell component pouch. Okay, six. Then I'm. Can I cast uh, this? Ooh, what monster are you summoning? And are you summoning it as celestial or infernal? What, what what's the difference here, actually? Um, actually, I mean, because of your actually because of your alignment and your background, I'm going to say unless you really, really want to be summoning celestial creatures and having them not like you, it's going to be infernal. Okay, then I'm going to. Do I... Am I really that bad? It's more, you're a noble of Cheliax, so when you learned how to summon, you would have been learning how to summon creatures from hell. Well, can I summon a dog from hell? You can or... summon... Yeah, I think a dog would be the strongest of, of all of these. You don't want a pony. Yeah. Okay, that... Yeah, I'll go with the dog, summoning a dog, because the pony's probably really weak. It's kind of like a kid, right? Sure. So you summon a dog. I don't have a token prepared, but it's a, it is a small dog 
It has sleek black fur. Its eyes glow with red coals. Its shadow swirls at its feet. And like when it walks, little sparks come and it smells of brimstone. What do you order this little dog to do for the like not very long that it's here? Close the gate. If we can't try to close the gate. <laughs> Just shout at it. Close the gate. Okay. Um It will attempt to do as you instructed. And it goes through and it starts pushing the gate and it smacks against the gate and the gate moves a little. It smacks against the gate. The gate moves a little. Each time you do it, there's a big whomp of flame and a little smoke. And then it just collapses into a burst of hellfire and dissolves away. Oh, dang, that having sucks. failed to close the gate. How far did it get? Like, uh, Not very far. Well, that was a fail. <laughs> yeah. Rip. Um. I'm gonna do the next best thing I can think of, which would be um. Just stupid. I mean, can I? <laughs> can I? Uh, can I use the um channel energy on the gate to try to push it? No, that's not how that works. I I just was wanting to see if that would work. It just sounds so stupid. Yeah. No. Well, the just literally radiating the force of life and death in your case uh are you doing positive or negative what's your channeling it's positive yeah uh clever idea doesn't work that way uh can i then Amerigo, do you want to do anything? Oh, I have an idea. Can I... So how big is the gate? Um... Pretty big. Like, compared to me. Um... Our gate is... Good lord. Does it not... It does not actually... Okay. Um this gate is it's tall. It's like twelve feet up, good ten feet side by side. Really meant to be open and closed for that wheel. And that rope and pulley that has snapped. And I Amerigo, you can see that there's a little crowd watching. They're keeping their distance, especially from you, but they are watching. And I cast divine favor on myself to tr to increase my luck, and then use my on a weapon and use my spear to try to close. Um, hey. that, not exactly how it works. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> You can um, do it, but it's not going to help you any. Can I uh, use my spear? And it's like got that shape, so can I use it to try to push it? Maybe that will change the force a little bit from yeah. my Give body. Give me a strength roll. Maybe. I don't think it will. I think this actually makes it worse, technically. 
Yeah, but no, maybe. You did, no, it doesn't work. The you're having a terrible time closing this massive gate in the middle of what's basically a farm fence. So this is just where I'm gonna um uh let, let's see what else I have on that I could use here. Um Amerigo, is there anything you want to do besides watch? No, no I actually no. wanna step in. No. Okay. This is watch Aglin's supper time. I, uh, you know, I'm gonna once again just continue to try to push the gate, I think. Okay. Is it gonna be the same, or...? It's gonna continue being strength rolls. It is theoretically possible for you to succeed. Hey! You get the gate to move a few inches before you collapse panting this time. <laughs> okay, I gotta think of something different here. Can I, the, the, you know, the, there's like ghosts of the gate. Can I try talking the gate into closing itself? Um, you can certainly try. Uh, is there like a check for that or just um, I'm talking to a wall? You're, you're talking to a wall. <laughs> Um, okay, can I try to, um, can I, like, just put, like, push with, like, my entire body, like, just, like, put my feet there and just, like, try to, like, use my body weight to force the gate to move a little bit, like, you know, in that, like, um, I'm like standing there, and then like I put, put I'm there, like put some of my body on there and tilt, and so I I'll start falling, but then the gate stops me from falling, so a little bit of pressure gets put on the gate. You can certainly do so. Will that do anything? You can. It'll enable you to make a strength check. The good news for you is it does not actually get hot enough on this day for you to worry about it getting too hot uh, as the day's going on, but it is getting very hot out as the afternoon creeps in. And you fail once more to close the gate. You said there was a crowd gathering. Is there still a crowd gathering? Yeah, there's a crowd, and everything. they're like watching. They're nervous, they're scared, but they also seem a little bit happy to watch the fucking tyrant struggle with a wall. Is there anyone among them who has food? Um, no. No one's, like, eating popcorn. Eating? No. <laughs> no one's eating popcorn. Like, people, <laughs> people are not, people are, as, as you look up, people, like, go on their way because they're not supposed to congregate. Um, can I, uh, can I try, um, this time to, this is, uh, can I try preparing a spell, or do I need to, like, you need to pray in the morning. Okay, can I, uh, I mean, like, I also have the wizard things. So how does that work? Oh, yeah, you, you can spend, like, ten minutes of spell level preparing a wizard spell. That's how I've done it since second edition, and no one's going to stop me. So Wait, how long? Ten minutes per level of the spell you're preparing. Okay, so can I spend 30 minutes to prepare three summon monsters <laughs> once? Um. Yeah. Okay. 
Then after after I'm done like with that 30 minute wait, can I summon all three of them? Sure, I'll even let as you dog. summon all three as like one big ritual. So you have now three fiery hell dogs in front of you. And can I ask them to close the gate? Sure. They will give it a try. And then there's two of them helping. Hey, this time around, with three fiery hell dogs working together, they close the gate. Wait, I just realized I put my character outside of the gate. <laughs> there you go. You are now inside. Thing like, wait, did I just close the gate on myself? I mean, if you did, you could just hop over the wall here. It's literally just like a chest I would fence. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's this gate. gate is very unnecessary. But yeah, the gate is closed. It isn't barred. You don't see where the bar is. But the gate is closed. Well, there's no bar, so I'm gonna... Now, obviously, uh, go to the nearest carpenter and uh, order a gate bar. Okay, they tell you it'll be ready in about two weeks. Okay, can I go to the jail cell and sleep? You go right to jail, and you can go right to jail and pass out, sure. Amerigo, yeah, yeah. are you going to do anything further at the gate? No. Okay. Ooh, this is Algin said this I Stupid. Okay. I shoot someone and. Okay. So. Oh, it's the second time this happened where I've just been. My character's just been closing the gate and failing. Yeah, this is the second time this campaign where you've had to deal with this gate. Uh, well. Do you either of you have anything else you want to do with this afternoon? Like I said, I want to sleep. I basically... Oh, wait. Maybe I want to eat something. Okay. So just going to head back uh, to the jail and have a snack and sleep? Yeah, have some food. Amerigo, what are you going to do? Um, I don't know. Are you going to follow Aglin? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why not? You get back to the jail and you see smeared in shit on the front of the door a great big like Iomade sword. Well isn't that interesting? Aglin, how do you feel about seeing the holy symbol of Iomide drawn on the door of your jail in, like, horse shit? Oh, have, did you? what have you been doing with webs today, Amerigo? It's just where I left him. Okay. Uh, Amerigo, webs also has, like, horse shit rubbed into its fur. Okay. Well, um, when I figure out how to do that, I am killing them. But for now, can I wash webs? Question mark? You can, yes. Being the psychopath I am, because everyone seems to be calling people, us that in the campaign, the people, uh, I'm gonna go to the Church of Iomade and preach about how you should how shitting on your neighbor neighbor neighbor's door and is a very very disrespectful. No one is shitting. Okay. I'm gonna be preaching about how not not specifically, but like how disrespecting your neighbors isn't nice and like um uh and uh how 
you shouldn't be shitting on people's door doors may be a reference or painting and one of the people in the crowd shouts out or shooting them in the face true 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 or burning down their tavern ah they started it Or killing them in their sleep. They weren't sleeping. They were. They were not. They were he breaking. He wasn't sleeping. They he weren't was sleeping. Us. They he were very a, awake. He was very awake and was attacking us. Or I displaying their corpse in public to rot. I was asleep. So, these the events have all that? happened, except for the burning of the tavern. Well, I was either knocked out asleep or out of town. Or raise the taxes unreasonably high. Well, I don't, I'm not or the one summon that. dogs from hell. That that, that that's just that. Uh, you, no one helped me. I I needed to help get help closing the gate. I could have summoned the celestial ones. Or torture people. I like, haven't tortured anyone. They start going down this list, and it starts when dawning you on you that they're people. not just complaining about you. They're complaining about the entire government at this point. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh are. ooh ooh, they're complaining about the entire uh, government. Well, hey, can I? Putting us can in the I same like, lane as the government, as the entire government. You know how they there. said that the, uh, you know, the crusade might be led by people of the former government that ruled yeah. this area. Yeah. Do I have any knowledge of them? Make a knowledge nobility check. I hope I succeed in this. This is actually something I want to. No. No, you don't. I really wanted to succeed in that so I can be like, start just talking knowledge about history. All of them. Knowledge history is also possible. In fact, that's probably better because this is history. Ooh, okay. Um, so I don't know this. Let me. I'm not going to broadcast this because I might. I need to decide what you know. Let me pull up my side notes on the history of Cheliax. Da, 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 da. So you know that the Civil War happened um, about... Um, what is the date there. It's about a hundred years ago is when the Civil War happened. Um, so the King Gaspadar lost control of the Empire as various noble houses started the battle that are unnamed in my notes. Um, and it descended into 30 years of civil war between the descendants of House of King Gaspadar and House Thrun and their allies. And after those 30 years of fighting, Abrigail I of House Thrun signed a pact with Hell placing her family and their domains under Hell's control, and in return, Hell gave them an army of devils. Lows of devils. Um, of particular note in this area is that House Davian was shattered nearby at the Battle of a Hundred Kings. Is that one I know? Yeah. So I'm gonna say, uh, this is just repeating history from a hundred years ago, when you know the cur the cur house thrown and various other noble factions rebelled against. Uh, I'm just gonna say like the kingdom of Chiliax. 
Chel so you're actually yeah. saying that they're repeating House Thrun's rebellion against Cheliax. Yeah. And Which also... you succeeded. Yes, but I'm also going to start... <laughs> I'm going to also say, and the, the people leading this revolt, the crusade is confer already been confirmed to be led by the former, you know, king's descendants. It's just a, the old rule go in going back into power, which was already unfair. And in a good, and it will be once again, seventy years from now, the revolt will happen again if this keeps out on at this pace. Go ahead just and the, give me a diplomacy check. This is gonna be really fucking hard, but you might pull it off. Hey, can I? I have. I actually do have a level two spell prepared. Sure. What spell is it? Uh, is this a more? Is this a performance combat check? No. Or a diplomacy check? This is a diplomacy check. Can I cast this? Ah, uh, da, 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 da. components virtual semantic. I'll ask you to make a spellcraft check to weave the spell into your speech and not have people notice. Or a bluff check. And, spellcraft or bluff. But otherwise, yes. Uh, another question. Is is my domain... Um, is my domain... Would that be a different thing than that? Or would it be the same thing? Um... What type of bonus does your domain do? Let me check. I mean, this I'm not sure if this is a domain. This gives a but... this gives a morale bonus. Ah, uh, this also this gives the exact same bonus. Yeah, so uh, they do not stack. And they're both the same thing, basically. They're yeah. basically the same thing. So I'll just cast that. I'll try weaving that in with uh, I think, with uh, this spellcraft. Or bluffing, I'm gonna go yeah. with spellcraft. Spellcraft, and I hope that succeeded. That succeeded, sure. And I'll try. Then I do a diplomacy check. Yep. Do I have anything else I can do on this? <laughs> Checking to see if I have anything. Uh, any of the people in the crowd sexually attracted to me? Um, not <laughs> enough of the crowd for it to matter. Uh, that is a thing that he has. Uh, that is a that is a thing. Uh, so yeah, give me that diplomacy roll. They yeah. are gonna make their will saves because you wove everything in. Um, so yeah. Um, if only the crowd weren't extremely hostile to you. So as you're running your thing and you're weaving your lessons better than you were doing to me, because Aglin is a better speaker than you are. That's fine. Um, it's leading through, it's building up, and just one of the people in the crowd just flat it out set. Oh, is 26 the actual result? Because you get the extra things as well, right? Isn't that a plus two, plus one, plus oh, four? Oh, yes, you're right. Well, in that case, as it weaves through, one of the people in the crowd says, didn't House Thrun win? And you just point and say, and it's already starting again. Do you want this endless cycle of violence? That's why we respect our neighbors, to stop the endless cycle of war and bloodshed. And, like, you grab that point and you work it in, and the entire town is a little calmed down. You know what? I'll go ahead and even shave off a point from the Rebellion Tracker for that. Oh my god! A shave! The point Yay, off! Yay! It's down to 33! Yay! Yay! <laughs> I get a, got a good decent roll on my diplomacy for the first time in the game. Yay! I'm investing way too much in diplomacy, basically. That's a, when it works, it is very nice. Uh, and everyone's kind of a little calmed down, and you finish your speech. The priestess of Iobade is just looking at you, not knowing what brought this on. 
apparently. You can make a sense motive check to be sure. I should probably not volunteer that information, but it's not relevant. Like, she's confused. Ah, uh, Amerigo. Let's just hop to Amerigo. Are you also going to clean the front of the jail? Hmm. Sure. Okay. Aglin, are you going to do anything else now that you've finished your sermon? I actually kind of do feel like I'm running a little bit low on uh, money, and I have this thing that says I can make a heal check as work for to soothe people, as work for soothing people. That's a full day's work, and it's already like uh, four in the evening. Too late. Yeah, and you are, again, well. exhausted. Not exhausted, fatigued, but like, tired. So are you gonna head back um, to the, are you gonna head back to the jail then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Amerigo. So uh, so Aglin, as you turn towards the jail, kind of coming down this street here, and you get to here and you turn and you can see Amerigo there working on the door. You see the girl who left the market earlier coming out behind, handful of dung in her hand, and she rears back and throws it at Amerigo. Missing and splatting the door next to Amerigo, right where he just cleaned it. Am I there, or... Are we both there? Or this is, is where they are. Go? You're like over here, so you can see it. If they're throw, I mean, throwing dung is pretty rude. Can America, can America hit the kid? You zoom around. Yeah, are you gonna just run down there and hit the kid? Sure. Oh, America to hit the kid. Yeah. So you go down there, and you hit this kid and sprawl her out into the road. Man, this guy's so fun. He's such a nice guy. Aglin. What, is Amerigo just going to punch the kid once, or is that all that Amerigo's going to do? He's going to punch the kid and then see if the kid does anything else. If anything else. The you know, kid's just going to lay there on the ground and look up, like, pissed off and defiant, rolling her eyes at, at, at Amerigo. Can I walk over to the kid? Yeah. And can I do the, give a very similar speech to the one I that did before, but, like, well, shorter? Amerigo will have a chance to do something before you get there. If Amerigo wants to. Can I? Can I threaten the child with like pretending to hit him again? Sure. Give me an intimidate roll. Oh, first ever time I found intimidate immediately. Damn it. And you rolled a one, and still I... succeeded. Fuck yeah! Yeah, you you go to hit again, and the kid flinches back. As yeah, Aglin arrives. Will then just chuckle at the kid because of that. Because he's such a silly, nice guy. I'm very much not an asshole or crazy. Can I do the giving a talking to a person? Yeah, you go kid, ahead. Like, but... You go ahead and repeat your speech. I wonder if it resonates with this kid. Um, the kid just looks up at you the way teenagers do when someone's lecturing them and they don't care. Would Aglin recognize that? Every adult recognizes that. Oh, 
shoot. Well, then I'm going to actually change what I'm going to s- talking about. And because I want to, honestly, because it's kind of usually, uh, can I, like, go go close to their ear and then s- say it louder? So you lean into the small girl's ear and start screaming a sermon about the god of civilization and politeness and social order. Uh, the girl is going to try to get away from you. Well, I'm fatigued, but I'm can I can I try getting them, keeping them down with my like leg? Because that's probably going to be st- stronger than my arm, which is, and I'm pretty weak right now. Sure. I'm tired. Um. Sure, that'll work. Um, da, 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 da. Go ahead and give me a combat maneuver roll. You know what? Even with your fatigue, you, this is a child and you are able to just pin this child down in the road her parents are coming out of the market as you scream like a religious fanatic in her face about the social order i love it i hate both of you so much i love it i hope that makes resonates with them and they remember that um, I can guarantee you that they will remember this. She will remember this. Her father and mother will remember this. The Longacre notary, who's just like peeking out of his office door, will remember this. <laughs> Is this a looker on or something? <laughs> Imagine for a moment if you were seeing one of the kids at your middle school get pinned down by like the by like the chief of police as they started screaming about god into their ear so depending on this this is either very sexual or very violent violent i hope this is violent i hope, you... violent. I hope you are doing this in you are meaning i'm doing this as a violent i'm doing this as violent but like yeah some okay. people would think some people at my school probably would child. some people I know would probably just joke about it like that. Well you finish your speech and she gets up and she immediately runs back to her parents who are just looking terrified in your direction. As you stand up your wings glistening in the sunset i don't know how feathered wings glisten in a sunset but yours do they do yeah uh, very pretty nah, shiny. Wings. they're pretty wings they shimmer a little your hair blows like the shampoo ad do you have your halo out I mean, if I was being very real, actually, yeah, that would cause a flashbang and probably make them get more focused. So I probably did that. Yeah. So yeah, sure you've got your that. halo out. You've got your flowing golden hair, your shimmering golden feathered wings, and your black and red noble's outfit of hell. As this kid stands up, I just I want you to have the image in your head to remember. That you are kind of terrifying looking. I mean, all things considered, I look like a model from when it's a soap commercial model. I doubt I look ter- terrifying, but I guess in that state, it you would be kind of scary. I am picturing in this moment, you know, when the hot guy in the anime proves to be like a deranged psychopath? Oh shoot yeah that moment 
we love you both. This is great. So yeah, uh, Amerigo can finish washing the jail. There's nothing else that happens this evening. Uh, Kells is sitting in the jail cell, nodding along, repeating your sermon that he heard from inside because you were yelling it. But is that the bard? Yeah. The bard that you threw in jail, like, a week ago. Well, actually, a week is probably about what his stay should have been. Okay. You know, can I go let him out, actually? You can, and the second you do, he is going to say, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll never it? hurt do anything again. Never again. Go to the front door and bolt the second he's out of the jail. And can I sleep? You can. There we go. Anything you're going to do this evening? No, sleep. The next morning, you're woken up right at the crack of dawn by Simri standing in the front of the root of the jail shouting why the fuck is the castle gate open why the fuck is the castle gate open <laughs> simri's just like that's what i want to know didn't we close and bar it yes i think can I just, am I awake or? Yeah, yeah, Simri woke you up. Can I go and tell them? Uh, I'm ordering, the bar got removed and the gate got opened yesterday and the bar, so I ordered a new bar, but the gate, but whoever's, but I closed the gate yesterday. While summoning a pack of infernal hells. The gate's open, Simri says. Like, right now, the gate's open. I just walked through the castle gate on my way in from the Ash House. Well, then, um, can you, uh, quick, can you just, uh, can we, can you, uh, can you close the gate? Do we know who's opening it? No, no clue. You can go. We can cl close the gate and scout out over the evening. I'll we I'll go like do a night watch. I'm gonna sleep the entire day. Good plan. Um, Simri's going to go off and turn to Amerigo. Do you want to come help me close this damn thing? Sure. Let's do that. Yay. Um, what's your strength score? Yeah, Simri will have you help. Simri will have you help. Okay. And fail. And then succeed. It takes you about maybe 15, 20 minutes of hard, back-breaking labor to close this gate. And she looks hey. up and, like, after that first failure, Simri storms into the gatehouse, starts swearing and coming out going, someone cut the f fucking rope. Cut the goddamn rope. Someone did cut the goddamn rope. Uh, and then you get the gate closed. And Simri's just standing there. Why the fuck does the Archbaron even care about this goddamned gate? Who could hop over the frickin' fence? Yeah. I don't know why either. I don't know why anyone here cares so much about this gate. I don't either. It's stupid. But the townspeople love the fucking gate. Shit. Doesn't protect shit. 
Especially when it keeps on getting opened and closed constantly. Though the guy shot was talking about some kind of ghost of a gate or whatever. A ghost? Yeah, I don't know. It's Wait, so you shot you shot old Dent? Yeah. Because he wow. was mocking me. He was mocking me. Remind me never to mock you. Huh. Don't. Do you believe this ghost bullshit? No. It sounds like an old fart being a fucking idiot. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, it's closed now. Uh, we can let Haglin do his crap tonight in this shit. We should probably go fucking sleep and be like on hand because who knows what that moron will do if we're not here. Yeah. Yeah. So Simri's gonna come back to the jail and like curl up in a corner and try to sleep the day. Cool. How about you, Amerigo? Uh America's gonna go to webs and do the thing that he's been that he was said he did before a lot. Just like sleep leaning on like webs. Okay. Make sure that there isn't another case of freaking shit. Yeah. Cool. Oh what happened? I went I went to the bathroom. Uh they went and closed the gate. And complained about the gate existing. Okay, I was just making sure anything super important that I just completely missed off. Well, and the day will pass without incident. It will be night, and we'll come to the castle gate. How do you want to let yourselves be set up to keep watch overnight? Well, I slept the entire day, so. I mean, like, on the map. Oh, I'm going to just, can I go, like, into the, like, can I just be at the gate? I have a halo, I guess, so I don't have dark vision, but my familiar does. Okay. So, can I have my familiar at the gate, and then I'll... And then I'll like ask it, like just chirp at me whenever if it sees anyone who isn't already here, go near it. Okay. I mean, technically, it understands celestial, so. And how about our other two? Well, Simri's gonna like relax over here. What about you, Amerigo? Where are you gonna set yourself up? Okay. Go ahead and make a perception check. Aglin? On behalf of your... Actually, we should... We actually need your familiar stats. This is the first time that we need this. Oh my gosh. So, what did you say your familiar was? It was a construct of a what? Um, I need to go check which ones. I, I just forgot what it's called. I know it's a type of bird. So I'm going to go check. Was it a thrush? Yeah, yeah, it was a thrush, I think. That okay. sounds right. Is it like the bird with the that's kind of small? Yep, the small plump bird. Yeah, that's it. It's a thrush, and then it's celestial and construct. So I think that changes its set. Yeah, not on this bit. Um. So yeah. Um. So you're all kind of sitting there, 
and not much happens until you start hearing tweet 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 really nervously from your thrush. Well, and your thrush, thrush and your thrush feels very anxious. That makes it sound like there's an army. I'm gonna go out and check, but like try being stealthy, I guess. Yeah, give me a stealth roll. Um, Amerigo, Simri here. The gates start opening. For fuck's sake! Yeah, you can go over. Amerigo, you have dark vision, don't you? Uh, do I? I thought you did. I mean, maybe. On account of the tiefling. Probably. Probably. Go ahead and give me a perception check, Amerigo. <laughs> yeah, no, you see the gate, and the gate just looks like it's opening on its own. Um, can I run over the Simri and wake, wake the shit out of her? No, Simri is, Simri is standing there in front of the gate. Mouth agape, watching, like she's yeah, lit a little torch yeah. and she's holding it up. Yeah, yeah. Can I to the scenery anyway? Yeah. What the fuck? The ghost bullshit might not be as bullshit as we thought. Aglin, you. You come out tiptoeing very dramatically, like a stage performer <laughs> being sneaky, not being sneaky at all. And you can see the gate opening on its own. Ooh, uh, detect magic. You detect no magic. Oh shoot. Um I gonna just say the conjuration thing, isn't it? If I continue. The dead, the, detect the dead bitches is a joke. So, um uh do the halo thingy. Okay. I'll allow everyone uh, to make another perception check. As you do, Aglin, you see a thing. I see a thing? You see a thing. I wonder what I see. You see a thing that is crawling along on the floor, pushing open the gate. Very small, black, and furry. And it flinches back against your light. You have to be out here to do that. Can I, uh, can I do the, uh, what's it called, um, uh, channel energy at it. <laughs> um, this let's roll initiative. Where's my initiative counter? Don't forget to select your token before you click the initiative button. Oh. Uh, should I roll again, or...? Please do. <laughs> 
So, as you see it and it sees you, it is going to scurry its way up the wall. Where's your speed, little thingy? Do. Da, 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 da. It's a scurries its way up the wall and over the roof into the tower. How far is that? Um, from where you are. Da, 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 da. What's your range? Um, oh no, uh, I. Well, Aglin asked a question. What's your range? I mean, like it's thirty feet, so I'd have reach. Um. It is do, 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 square root 20 times 20 plus 30 plus 30 times 30. There is no square root. I have to actually do math. 20 times 20 plus 30 times 30 square root of 1300 it's about 40 feet away ah uh -huh. so, so you would not be able to vom the roof of the tower from where you are amerigo okay you did not see what just happened you just saw the gate stop opening and Aglin like looked and then you know what yes you saw something you saw a shadow bolt up the side of the building you don't know what it is yeah, okay what do you want to do can I can I try and look can I try and like look at what the fuck just happened I mean you like, just saw a shadow bolt up and over the tower like unless you can see through buildings damn can i go investigate yeah you can move up to your speed as a move action twice as a full oh. round Go ahead and move if you want to move. So I can move here, right? Uh, if you want to move, you do kind of have to just like move. But you, yeah, you can. What's your speed? 30? Yeah. Then you could, if you wanted to, get here. By, walk, by running to the door and moving in. Now it's just being weird. Stop ruling. Okay. You get to the foot of the ladder. as a, You can get to the foot of the ladder as a move action if you want. Cool. And you have a standard action. You can see the ladder reaching up about 30 feet into the towards the roof latch. Um, go up the ladder? Okay, you get about halfway up the ladder. It's of note that the roof latch is currently open. If that affects your desire to climb the ladder. I don't think it would. I don't really care. Okay. Uh, Simri is going to follow you. But not start climbing the ladder because you're already there. Aglin. Remember, channel ener channel positive energy heals you. Or harms undead. You're summoning something for three rounds. What are you summoning?
if you're muted, we can't hear you. Oh, I'm going to, can I summon an eagle? I'll take the entire round, right? Yes. An eagle can probably just swoop up and kill it. And it's, uh, is it going to be infernal? I mean, does it really, mm, I mean, I think I kind of, I think I want Celestial, unless Infernal also gives uh, night vision. What does Infernal do? I want to see them side by side. Um, I actually wanted to Celestial here. So you're going to call down a Celestial Eagle. It's going to give yeah. that. It's going to give damage reduction of none. Resist cold, ask electricity. Um, smite evil one a day. Yeah, I think that this probably might, this might be an evil entity. I mean, like... Okay, there's your, there's your eagle stat Like block. a fly. There's your eagle stat block. Oh. Okay, eat it. Yay. And I suppose we should give you a eagle token. There you go. You have your eagle. So, Amerigo, you are on the ladder. Woohoo, can I? Well, no, it's not your turn. You're on the ladder. I am on the ladder, cool. It's not my turn. Yeah, who the f it is that bitch. The bitch, the shadow bitch. As you are climbing the ladder, you see the stars through the open latch in the roof disappear and have a sudden realization of, oh shit, as a chest is pushed through the door onto you and is falling. Does 24 hit you against your flat-footed AC? You'll take. Um, yeah. You'll take one point of damage as you get hit in the face by a freaking chest. Three. I need you to make a reflex one, save not to get knocked off the ladder. I need to make a reflex save. Uh, just okay. Yeah. Uh, you managed to keep a hold on the ladder. You just... This chest got pushed through, smacked you in the face, hit the floor, cracked open, laying on its side. Americo. Well, this is this interesting. Can I like climb up the ladder to see what the fuck did that shit? Question mark. Yeah. You well, actually, before that, I'm sorry, I jumped the gun. Oh. As you get to the top rung of the ladder. You know how you when you're climbing a ladder, there's that moment where you're like more of your weight's like on one of your arms as you're pulling yourself up. Yeah. When you get to that top lung of the ladder, ladder, I'd like you to make a perception check. What? You want me to just make perception a... check? Okay. 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 And as you put your hand to that and you begin hoying yourself up that last rung, 
you hear a snap of wood, and the rung comes off the ladder in your hand. Go! Would you make a reflex save, please? Okay. This little shadow bit. I'm gonna shoot this motherfucker when I get the chance. You manage to hold tight with your feet and your other hand and grab the ladder and not fall off. But yeah, now you're there, ladder in one hand, and with that, you'll be able, for the rest of, you'll be able to finish your move action to hoi yourself up and see this little shadow bitch. You don't have your gun out. You've got your arms there, but you do have, like, the rung of the ladder in your hand. You can either take a standard action to hoi yourself up and be on the roof, or do something else. Um, get on the roof. Yeah. You are now fully up on the roof. Cool. Simri is going to follow. Aglin. Huh? What do you do? Um, I think about this one a little bit because I'm already on the ground, so probably yeah. won't matter. Uh, is there any? I'm gonna if there's a rock or something, I'm gonna try gr throwing it onto the roof, okay. finding a rock and throwing it. Um, make a ranged attack. How do you do that? Um, oh, here. It's a ranged one, right? Yep. You grab a rock and you chuck it up and it arcs up beautifully and lands on the roof. Doesn't hit anyone because it was a bit possible. No. Are you going to give your eagle any orders? Well, yeah. Or order Simple order. Eat, eat that small little bug. Okay. I'm just going to assume it was a, like a fly, a giant fly. So, Eagle, Eagle can absolutely fly up there, no problem. Is it able to eat that little bug thing? Well, how big of a movement speed does it have? Because that's about 40 feet up. Oh, it has an 80-foot average speed. So it can make an attack roll as it goes by. Uh, I don't know It's that. I gave you the Eagle sheet. Bio and info, this magnificent bird. Check the character sheet. Oh, there's a character sheet on there? Yeah. Over here. How do I check the character sheet? Should be able to just click character sheet. This is just bio and info, and that's it. Um, try again. Try closing it. Oh, now it shows a character sheet. Okay. So the 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 average means that it takes a bit of space for it to turn around and slow down and such. So it can get there at full fly speed and make an attack. But it like is then going to need to like loop around and make another attack. Okay, well, can I do attack then? Sure. Or it'll need to make a fly check to land. I, I wanted to do that attack. Okay. So that is what was your two hit? Fourteen. Oh. The uh, the eagle swoops by and the little thing crouches down. And the talons go over its head, missing. And our oh. little thing looks over at the bird. That is the first thing that it has tried to attack it. Leans back its hand and throws out a little ball of fire 
that it conjured out in its hand. Does 20 hit the eagle? Um, unless there's some kind of, the, yeah, it's does 14 on here. All righty. Fortunately, it's a Celestial Eagle, so it only takes one point of fire damage as the uh, fire hits the eagle. Ooh. Amerigo. Yo. You see this little thing on the floor, at ground, looking at the eagle. Its hand is still wreathed in fire. Right, 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 right. Um, so, you know about Hunga Manga, right? Yeah. So, can I take my Hunga Manga and. Not knowledge history. I don't want to fucking think knowledge history. Goddamn. What are you doing can with I? your Hunga Manga? Hunga Manga, hit him. Hit Hunga Manga, hit him. Okay. Hit him. Uh, that will hit. What is your hunger manga made out of? Um, metal. Okay, just normal metal? Yeah. Okay. You're, you whack it with your hunger manga, and it feels like you're hitting, like, brick. Like, sparks fly off as the thing turns and raises its arm to catch the Hunga Manga. And, like, it winces, it's in pain, but, yeah, this is not some tiny, squishy thing. Simri. Simri will take this opportunity to come around to the other side for her move and attempt to hit it with her masterwork cookery. And miss, even with the bonus from flanking, which it's going to be like it's there. Aglin. We're still on the ground. Yeah, but you did see the eagle swoop away, and you did see like a little thing of fire go smacking your eagle. Well, if there's fire, only one way to handle fire. What's your range on create water? Uh, too little. <laughs> uh, I, but it won't be if I climb up a little. It's it's uh thirty feet. Okay, do you have to be able to see where you the point where you cast it? Um, I mean, I don't think so. It doesn't say anything specific about that. All right. So I'll can I climb up a little bit and then do it without looking at the bit on the right, click kind of where in this tower here, up on the surface, you're going to be dunking your water. Because you're doing this blind. I might do the little thingy. Click and I hold. make that. Click and hold. Right there. So, yeah. Um, a whole bunch of water just starts pouring out of nowhere right there. It would be six gallons. Six gallons. Yeah, a bunch of water swooshes across, making the top of this place wet. Birdie! Birdie, yay! Birdie! What's your birdie going to do? 
once again, it's gonna just whack it with its ta talons because it's obviously realized it's as hard as metal, and if it probably wouldn't want its beak on that. Okay. And once again, it just misses entirely. Okay, then the birdie's gonna go fly straight up. Okay. Afterwards. This thingy um, is now. I think you might be going. <laughs> this thingy is now glancing around at uh, everyone around it, and is going to swing over at the person who successfully hit it with a hungamanga. And attempt to touch you. Does 20 hit your touch AC, Amerigo? Yeah. Yes. I need you to make a will save. As this thing scurries over and just like touches you. And nothing seems to happen. Amerigo. It's like right by you. And is a single opponent great for making a challenge? If you want to remember, your cavalier ability exists. Hmm? Hello, Rex? Yeah. yeah. What do you want to do? It's your turn. You can, sure. That will hit. And we'll do a total of, like, not very much damage, but still some damage. Except 21, 20, 19, 18, 7. Nope, still hits. Somehow, still hits. Yeah. But it really felt like it should have been easier to hit than it was. Simri is going to continue her thing. Fail to confirm her crits. Darn it, Simri. Why are you like this? But she does manage to stab the thing. Aglin. Considering the ladder is pretty unsafe to climb on it, I'm gonna uh, touch the. Actually, it's kind of stupid. Uh, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna uh, climb up the ladder. Actually, okay. Am I able to climb up the ladder in one turn? Yep. That's your turn. Okay. So, uh... And that's just in time for your eagle. I'm going to have it attack it with talons again. Yep, and that'll be the last thing it does. And yep. this, again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But yeah, Bye -bye, so... Eagle. This disappears thing. into dust. This thing is going to 
dive down, down and scurry down the ladder to where the chest fell. Amerigo, you and Simri get a tax of opportunity as it does so. Okay. Go find Amerigo. You miss wildly. Damn. Oh, no. Amerigo, what do you do? It's your turn. Alright. So, so guess what I'm gonna do? What? Tap. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Swear. Damn. Um, you, it's not there to hunga manga. Aww. It moved. It did move. Where you? Can I go down? Uh, you want to spend your time climbing down the ladder? Do you want to jump? Or do you want to like jump? step over and draw your gun and shoot it? Can I shoot it? Yeah. You can, can attempt I, to. I'm gonna throw my hunga manga. Okay, you're gonna throw it. I don't. I'm not gonna throw my own gun on that, but I can. Hey, that becomes a sixteen because of your bad luck. This is your last bad luck. Uh, which, but this is against touch because it's in the first range increment, so that is a hit. Pew. You shoot the dang thing with your pistol. Uh, Yay! Simri's gonna hang back and be like, okay. Aglin, you got up here just to see it scurry down, and now you can't see it. <laughs> it scurried down, right? Yeah. How high up were um, it's about 40 feet. What do you want to do? I'm going to jump. I'm going to go down the ladder. Uh, can I, like, try skipping a couple down? Like, you know what I mean? Like, just skip a couple of the drops to go faster? Sure, you can slide down the ladder, make a reflex save to land properly. Yep, you slide down the ladder and land. You have a standard action left. As you loom over this thing and this chest. This thing is like rummaging inside the chest. I, I touched a chest and cast a sugar motion. What are you doing? Can I touch the chest and cast touch of combustion? You can. Okay. This is going to be... Oh, read possibly okay so the chest catches fire great so do its contents <laughs> including six flasks of highly flammable alchemist's fire oh yeah on that note can i uh scream for them to <laughs> can i still scream yes <laughs> well i'm gonna be screaming for people to get out of the building as I think I've just lighted it. You know, yeah, not gonna as, you, as you cast that and you immediately get a moment to go, oh fuck. Um, <laughs> so would you please make a reflex save, Aglin? Okay, you are only going to take half damage. 
Uh, this thing also needs to make its little reflex save. So, um, the as the chest fucking explodes, the chest explodes, there's a burst of fire through the room below, up in the air, Aglin takes nine damage, uh, this thing here does not have any evasion, so it takes nine damage, uh, minus its fire resistance. Fire goes up in the air, and because this is Alchemist's fire, um, everyone down in the bottom is also on fire, as are all the barrels and the crates and the walls. Oh god. Well. So... It's going to not give a damn that it's on fire, and it is going to scurry out the front door. Sure, it's bigger now. That's just because I screwed up. It's fine. Amerigo! Uh, Aglin went down, and then it exploded. And now you can see that the entire room below is on fire. Um... Would I be if I jumped off? Uh, that would depend on if you made a good, nice, safe jump. That's a, that's the height that can kill you in real life. Okay. But it's also a height that you can jump safely down in a fantasy game. Basically, make an acrobatics check. Don't fail. All right. I wait for this man to just fucking die. Have it. Hmm. Well. Amerigo, please take four damage as you boof it and land hard on your back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So five. And you are now prone on the ground. And you can spend your other action to stand up. Stand up. Simri is going to be doing the same damn thing because, oh my god. But unlike you, she makes the DC 10 check. <laughs> and just lands on her feet. Taking less damage. Two damage as she lands and goes ow and stumbles a little and comes her and hurries away from the burning tower. Oh yeah, that would be a great idea. Aglin At the start of your turn, because you are in the fire, you're gonna take five fire damage. How are you doing, Aglin? On? How can I get out? <laughs> um, are you conscious? I mean, yeah. yeah. Conscious. You can run burning out of the building. And after, while I'm running, can I cure light wounds myself? You can run and then cure light wounds yourself. Yeah, like, yeah. Sure. Get out of here. I don't know. Oh, what's 40 feet from here, actually? I kind of want to run as far as I can without my thing. Like, here? Epic. I'm going to run over there so I get some good distance and uh, cure light wounds myself. So Aglin comes running a human torch ignited on flame healing himself. Regain three hit points. This thing still has fire on its hand. 
and it is going to throw a little ball of fire at Agon. Does 12 hit your AC, Aglan? Does a shield affect your AC? Just yes. wondering. Okay, then no. Because okay. I, I have a shield on. I'm just making sure. I, I'm, it, it, my AC is, like, you know, 11. So I'm assuming the shield gives, like, more than one. Yeah. I'm going to so, check. So you, you catch the little bit of fire on your shield. Amerigo! The building is on fire. Um, isn't that so silly? It's so silly. Hmm. Uh, Run away, away from, from Belvin. Okay. Hey, you can see the little thing, and it's on fire. It's on fire. Yeah. It seems entirely unbothered by being on fire. Wow. Do you do anything? You still have a standard action. Okay, great. I don't know what to do. Okay, so you just, the thing like, is on fire. The thing is on fire. So you're just going to hang out? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Simri is just going to hang out. Aglin! The fire goes fire. out. What do you do? Continue to run. Is what I've... Actually, you know what? Actually, Aglin's going to do something different for once. What? What is Aglin doing? Aglin is going to uh can so I can I so can I move away? Yeah. Um another 40 feet and then cast an action for a spell for standard action. Yeah, that is definitely what you normally do. Can I cast this spell? You can, even ca you can cast that before you move. Oh, cool. Then I move 50 feet away. Cool. So Aglin casts a spell, his legs get longer, and he moves. So at this point, I'm assuming Aglin is bolting and getting out of this combat. <laughs> Goodbye, Aglin. Yeah. This little shadowy thing scampers around and just fucking bolts it into the forest. Amerigo, are you going to do anything about this thing bolting into the forest? Um... Can I try and follow the thing? You can attempt to. What's your movement speed? 30. Oh. It's going to lose think. you really darn quick. Damn. It is faster than you. But you know what? I'll allow oh. you, if you want to, to attempt a parting shot as it's running away. All right. Like, should be down there. Come on, roll a critical hit. That would be hilarious and awesome. That'd be very funny. Nope, that does hit. That will hit. And it does do a damage. But yeah. Yay! Yay! 
Um, so I have good news and bad news. Okay. Bad news, the castle gate is open. Oh, yeah. Good news, I don't think the Archbaron can be mad at you for the castle gate being open on account of the entire building is up in flames. Yeah. The Cassie gate. Oh no, Cassie, the Cassie gate is on fire. It exploded. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna cover myself by saying that, that uh, it ignited a bomb. Who put the bomb in there? Don't worry. Who <laughs> uh, put the bomb in there? They just went into the chest and exploded a bomb. Trust. Oh, there's so much good treasure you just lost because you blew up all the alchemist's fire. I cannot just... Hey, hey, good news, or very bad news, Aglin. That, What's that, the good that news? conjuration that you disappeared, that conjuration you saw, is now gone. What's the very bad news? That's the very bad news. The bag of holding that you were detecting earlier has burned up in the fire. Which means? You've just lost a magical bag that can carry, like, everything. Ah, oh, shoot. Oops. And you've lost all of the alchemist fire you could have thrown at people. Actually, the rest of the treasure you didn't really care about, but still. Uh, Boom. Congratulations on somehow managing to burn down the castle. Boom, boom. I don't want to be remembered as an arsonist. But it looks like that might be what I'm remembered too as. late. <laughs> so far, you are two for two. No, no, you are two for three on buildings torched that you've been involved. No, two for four. Only half. Only half of the buildings you've been involved with have burned down. The jail isn't burned down yet, and the market isn't burned down yet. The, also, the tannery didn't burn down. That's true. See? Well, I've only burned down the two buildings that I've entered combat. Only two of the three buildings I've entered combat in. Yeah, but most of them... Have yeah. had murders. Yeah, it's fine. You, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, the castle gate going up in flames does gather a crowd, and they're whispering, Did. Did Lord Nele burn down the castle gate? And then, of course, you can give your whole spiel about the bomb. Make your diplomacy that... check. That might stop the rebellion tracker from going up. You might stay at 33% or even go lower. Give me a diplomacy check for your little bomb spiel. Yeah, you know what? I'll allow that to allow you to explain to everyone that I don't know what who who set the bomb? Who are you pinning the blame for this bomb on? The I'm going to pin it on the person who was opening the castle gate. As they had a bomb set up for when we came to investigate it. Ah, and are you trying to... Are, who, are you saying anything about who this person might be? Uh, I'm going to say we didn't, ha I didn't get, we didn't get a clear look at that they seemed really small. A halfling. Whisper, 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 whisper. And so the crowd disperses with rumors of a halfling blowing up the castle gate. Each of you gets 300 experience points. Yay! Woo! Explosion. Woo, I'm not explosion. making it. <sighs> I'm 
so on your way back from the gate though a certain old lady sitting at the tor at the porch is going to look at you and she's going to just she's got this like half drunk bottle of bourbon sitting on the floor by her and she is going to throw it at you as you're walking by is there any move movement or does that just hit me uh we need to see if it hits you does 18 hit you very much so that hits me by a lot <laughs> oh god Go ahead and please take four points of damage as you get beamed in the head with a half-drunk bottle of bourbon that just breaks and soaks you. I guess I... Oh, shoot, that actually... I'm glad I have a decent chunk of HP. I forgot to roll my level up HP, but I, I'll do that later. Okay. Uh, I'm glad I've rolled really good on my con rolls recently oh. for HP. So you've had your, uh, because yeah, you took like almost 20 damage in that fight from just being lit on fire. But you're still standing? Yeah. Okay, you are still standing and you are dripping with alcohol that's getting into all of your burns and stinging. Oh god, what outfit did you wear here into the explosion? Listen, I all I never wear my noble outfit unless I'm talking to people. This didn't look like a talking situation. I'm wear I was wearing my explorer outfit. Okay. Um not an it You do not have an explorer's outfit anymore. Like is it like only like some of the like metal stuff that might have been on it? Yeah, like anything fabric and such is just burnt away. Um so you're you're more or less like walking back to the jail, covered in burn marks, dripping with bourbon, wearing like a leather bikini bottom with belt buckles hanging off of it. I'd say your hair is doing that poofed up and ash thing from like cartoons, but you do have as a racial trait that your hair is always perfect and beautiful and flowing like in a shampoo commercial. It's just flowing. It's flowing. Maybe like singe still, but flowing. Yeah. I would assume, do I scar from this? Um, you healed yourself with magic, so no. Okay, good. You're going to be fine. Unless you Maybe. want to scar from this. I don't want to scar from this. Okay. But yeah, so I assume you two are going back to the jail with Simri? I'm going, is there any clothing shops open? At midnight. I'll go back to jail. Do I know the person who owns that clothing shop, considering I've been talking to every single person in town randomly? Um, yes. Can I knock on their door? You can show up at the shopkeeper's door at midnight, mostly naked, knocking. And this, uh, this person is who I haven't who's not like a character so i have nothing for this person is going to open the door let's say let's say we're talking about a nice half orc lady who's just very prim and proper old lady and she opens the door and she's just looking at you and goes young man this is no way to approach someone in the middle of the night regardless of your nobility my lord. Yeah, I'm. I, can I ask them for a new pair of clothes? <laughs> She's just going to go. Right. Uh, come in. Let me take your measurements. And she will measure 
you and send you on your way and say that she'll have her grandson deliver you your new outfit in the morning and collect I'll payment say, then. I'll say thanks and ask how much it costs. Um, she's just going to go. Oh, something suitable for you is going to be a hundred. Is going to be fifty gold pieces. Oh, okay. I'll be getting cheaper to wear later. Yay. So you go back to the jail. You are now in the jail after obviously... whatever the hell that was. Well, I'm obviously getting. Uh, I just remembered something. I have this. Uh, channel energy heals you, right? Yeah. Are you able to cast on yourself? Uh, it's not, it's an AOE. Oh, sick. it bursts I, out from you. Can I like, use it on myself? Like, yeah, you can walk inside and just start purging golden healing light from you. <laughs> yeah, can I do that so I heal? Yeah, well, I mean, you is it, and Simri and Amerigo will all heal when you hit that button. Okay. Oh. Um, why are you? I can do that? it five times. Okay. I I wanted to cast it five times. I don't know if this that's like two d six damage five times. Oh, I I didn't realize it didn't do like the thing. So it's just two d six five times. Okay, everyone in this share in the jail will heal thirty six points of damage. As just Aglin walks in and starts shining like a golden light bulb of just comforting, comfortable healing, like a warm shower on a cold winter's day. That sounds horrible. You know when it's cold and you get into the warm shower and it's comfy? And then you get to sit down and wrap in a blanket and sip on hot cocoa. Okay, it, that sounds less bad. Yeah. I might have been thinking of a cold shower on a warm day. <laughs> so. Yay! Is there anything you want to do or discuss after going to the castle gate and finding this little fucking thing opening it? I'm gonna go sleep. You were sleeping all day. You're gonna have trouble sleeping. I need to get... I need to have sleep so I don't get so tired in the... Oh, yeah, you're so, you're a good point. But it's midnight. Yeah. I've been at least up for four hours, mm -hmm. right? Um, I'm, You can rest. I'm just wondering if you want to in-character theorize about what the fuck just happened. Why the fuck just happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I mean, yeah, I guess we could theorize about what just happened. My theory is that that was just a magical beast of sorts or a gnome or some halfling short thing that has been in the village for quite a while and monitored the, ga monitored the gate, probably out of some old depth. And it's, been, and it's probably the cause of the rumor of the um ghost that stays inside of uh that loves when the gate is open because and i'm also going to assume it's a thief because it seems like it might have been trying to steal something uh it also seemed to be pretty good at magic so i assume it's actually quite bad a veteran of sorts so i'm gonna just say, say and assume this is just a war veteran uh gnome who let, who started stealing things to pay his to pay for something and is also indebted to someone in the village from the past you're really writing a story Aglin is going full racist those damn gnomes and their thieving ways why I love it, but it's horrible. Oh my gosh. 
Amerigo, do you have anything that you think about? Eh. Including, like, if you want to go, what the fuck was that? Yeah, what the fuck was that? Do you have knowledge of nature? No, I don't think so. And you have no fucking clue what that was. It was a small, fuzzy, sleek, furred, like, cat-sized thing. Great. Yeah. Great. But you do know, gnomes tend to be bigger than cats. Gnomes are like the size of children, not the size of cats. So it wasn't a gnome. Yeah, you're pretty sure that was not a gnome or a halfling. I'm just referring to a small-sized humanoid. Really, I'm just said said gnomes because you know garden gnomes are kind of tiny. That's actually the only reason I said gnome. Just okay. you know, I I, I could have swapped that with anything. Are you gonna try to? Do you have knowledge of nature, Aglin? Ah uh, nah, I don't. I don't go outside. Yeah. So you do You you have nothing but your base guesses. Okay. But you're pretty sure it has nothing to do with Iomade. Is that what you're saying to me? I mean, considering the time, it might have. They might work for the Iomade in revolt and be. You know, stealing the reasons for stealth, stealing and stuff. Oh, you think the thing is going around town stealing for the revolt? Yeah, okay. like you know, it could be stealing from supply lines that could be that are going to soldiers, all that nonsense. Trying to disrupt it slightly. I see. What do you plan to do about this theory? Oh. Because your job, remember, is find and stop this rebellion. And you've kind of been sitting around dawdling. What do you mean? I've been talking to people. Yeah, you've Stopping been talking. Them. You've been talking. But now you've just seen, a gr seen, by your own admission, very possibly a real sign of the revolt. And that is why I am going to um, go to sleep. Not from tiredness, but because you need to always be, because I don't want to have a bad sleep schedule. That's an ag one. Having a bad sleep schedule is bad for your health. I'm, I'm not sure if he knows that, but he probably does. Okay. And if he sleeps now, then he'll be able to maintain his sleep schedule a little bit better. And also, um, he might be able to, and he can go tomorrow, like, doing stuff tomorrow. What do you plan to do tomorrow? Well, well ask me about rumors of the uh, ghost, and then uh, try to investigate the forest, I guess. Okay, you're going out to go investigate the forest. Kind of Amerigo would do. Yeah. Amerigo. What do you want to do about what the fuck just happened? Um, let's talk to the lady that was all the old lady I stole the pie and shot the wolf husband up. Okay. Because, yeah, I imagine Amerigo is aware that if things get bad enough and he's not doing his job, he might lose his job and lose the protection to just shoot whoever the fuck he wants willy nilly. Gophers. Yay. So, next time, investigations. And oh my god, how long do we have to go back? Uh, we have next Tuesday. We have, if we do every Tuesday from now, two more sessions before you fly back. So, and we maybe we'll be able to do it during the school year a little bit. Yeah, we'll have to discuss like what your schedules are. Prioritize your studies. I know that 
you don't like it when Lee nags, and I don't like it when Lee goes, did Han read his book yet today? But she is right. Your studies are important. Remember to read your book today. Um, but yeah. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Can I roll my next, uh, should I roll my uh, health HP points for my level three? I haven't done that yet. Yes, go do that. OMG, just do that. And chat, did you gain any value whatsoever from seeing the map? Or should I just, like, next time have uh, Rex's art be the big thing again? Hey, level three hit dice. I almost gave a Mary girl 117 hit points on accident. We'll see. Yeah, you don't have that much yet. Let's see. I'm not going to dump everyone into Jake on RimWorld. Jake will be angry and ban everyone. Let's raid into Lucky. See Return of the Oberdeen. Thanks, etc. And have a lovely day. Ra. Three, two, one, go.